they said I wouldn't be able to drive. They said I wouldn't get an education. And they said I wouldn't have kids. Some people that have cerebral palsy can't probably walk, can't hardly talk, but I got parents that treated me like everybody else. The reason why I decided to continue my education was because it was on my bucket list. And when I saw my oldest son graduate, I told God that I was going to prove to myself that I was going to graduate too. What impresses me most about Brenda would probably be her determination and her tenacity. There was nothing that was going to get in Brenda's way from earning this high school diploma. She spent a lot of time, you know, with algebra. Uh, Brenda and algebra were not the best friends, but her understanding and knowing that and watching her seek out ways to improve was very, very uplifting. My first day back up to work, and I talked to him, and he told me I passed. I almost passed out. What impresses me most about Brenda is her drive to get her education and better her life while still making sure that she comes to work when she's supposed to, even being in the pain that she is, to, to show up every day and plow through and do what she knows she needs to do to better herself. She tells them her Goodwill story. She just is a cheerleader for anybody that wants to better themselves. Brenda first came to me and talked about pains that she was having in her legs after having a doctor's appointment. Her doctor suggested that Brenda get a bicycle and start riding regularly to improve her physical endurance. We suggested that Brenda apply for one of our Good Signs Wellness Grant. We typed up the wellness grant and within a couple weeks Brenda was approved and Brenda was awarded her first bicycle. Well, when I think of Brenda, I think of someone who has been told no all of their life who basically has used that as their motivation to not only better themselves, but to show other people that you can do anything you set your mind to.